all feelings are neutral. That's a simple, basic truth about experience. Now, what do you mean, you might say, all feelings are neutral? Certainly, feelings uh, differ in terms of pleasant and unpleasant. A sensation can be pleasant or unpleasant, and it might be intense or not so intense. But if you look at emotions, it seems as if emotions are constructed, meaning there's a combination of a certain set of sensations in the body, which may be pleasant or unpleasant or intense or not so intense. And then depending upon the context, there is a meaning attributed to those particular sensations in a context. And out of that arises an emotion. Now, these feelings, these feeling sensations are neutral in the sense that, let me give you an example. Let's say that you have three people who all talk about feeling anxious. And you might ask them, how do you know that you're anxious? Or what happens to you when you're anxious? And one person might say, my heart starts beating, pounding like crazy, and I get sweaty palms. You know, the, the, the and you might then ask, well, that's that's what happens yeah that that's what happens right but you can be sure that th the next person might come in and say that they're anxious but they may talk about being really dizzy and having racing thoughts and muscular tension if you ask them does your heart race or are your palms sweaty they might go no so so different people can say that they have anxiety but they can describe very different set of you know feeling sensations so there's not one anxiety right now here's something else that's also true the people who say that oh yeah uh, i know that i'm anxious because my heart beats really fast and my palms get sweaty they have had experiences of having a beating heart and sweaty palms and not creating anxiety out of it for example while running or exercising they might say that they feel great and have their second wind. But if you ask them, what do you feel in the body? They might go, oh yeah, my, my heart's pounding, you know, I, I have sweaty palms, you know, or, or, or if someone has sex, or let's say that they're doing a, a prank in their friend's wedding that they might describe as anxiety, not anxiety, but excitement, they, they might have the exact same sensations. And these are true for all feeling sensations. We can, based upon the same feeling sensations, create very different emotional states based upon the context and the meaning that we attribute to those feeling sensations. A very interesting example of this is uh, a, a study that was done in Virginia at a national park where you have two bridges, one that's relatively low and safe and the other quite high and shaky and and there's the experiment where you have a relatively attractive woman posing as a market researcher going up to men and asking them questions about you know saving the environment or something like that and at the end of it she's a little bit flirtatious and she says here's my private phone number if you want to discuss this further and then the question becomes is there a difference between the men on the low bridge and the high bridge in terms of how attractive they rate her to be and how many who calls? More than twice as many in the high bridge end up calling and they rate her as more attractive. Now, what most likely happened is that when they're in, at that high bridge that's kind of shaky, they're, they're having their, their physiology is activated. Their, their, their heart's beating, the blood pressure's up. There's activation, right? And then they see a woman that they like, and given that context, they, they attribute it to the woman and they create an experience of attraction out of it, right? So anyways, I, I hope you found this, this useful. Um, if you like the way I think, know that I see clients from all over the world, been doing so for the last 27 years. And if, if you wanna, Reach out and see if we could be a good fit. You can find me at provocativehypnosis.com. Also know that the single topic I see the most clients for are anger issues. I'm doing a one-day online seminar 
uh, September 28th this year on how I work with those clients. See so if you're interested in that, check out the seminar page at provocativehypnosis.com and you will find a link there. As always, thanks for listening.